25 years old and fairly healthy. Like. Now, these ladies do a good job speaking to their peers who are farmers in this area. And Mental health was one of the conversations engaging farmers at this year's AgriVisions. Research from the University of Guelph indicates 40% of farmers feel an ease at seeking help because of the stigma around mental health. Leslie Kelly, who farms with a family in Watrous, Saskatchewan, wants to help her peers. There's lots of barriers when it comes to mental health and agriculture. One is the, the notion that a farmer should be tough and not show any signs of weakness. The other aspects are what we do, uh, the relative of where we work, uh, isolated in cabs. Uh, our farms are located uh, you know, in remote locations. So access to treatment is quite hard, especially if you have, if you have animals. You can't go into the city four hours away and uh, have those appointments. Do More Ag is raising awareness to end the stigma and let people know that help is available. Co-founders Kim Keller and Leslie Kelly are sharing their stories. I know in my personal case that I have a passion, my why of why I am up here speaking about mental health and speaking about the industry, why I love farming is because of the people. The people in our industry, our farmers, are our greatest assets and I know that I can help contribute whether that's through starting conversations online, offline. Industry groups like Do More Ag are raising awareness about resources that are available. The Lloydminster Region Health Foundation is on board to help all members of the community access the help they need as they ramp up fundraising with their Project Sunrise. Organizations like Do More Ag really help, I think, bring down the stigma in specific industries that are really important to the Lloydminster area. The only way he could provide value to the farm is... Gerard Lampau, Primetime Local News.